So um, today, after completing this activity, uh, you're going to be able to see the physical properties of DNA. Uh, we are going to be filtering an extract of strawberry and chicken liver DNA. Uh, yes, both of the labs that we're doing, both lab four and lab five, have to do with liver. Uh, two different types of liver. The uh, enzyme one is using beef liver and the DNA one is using chicken liver. Uh, and this is the last time you'll have to deal with liver. Liver is disgusting, so, uh, so that's good. So what we're going to be doing here is preparing a filtered extract of strawberry and chicken liver DNA, uh, demonstrating that DNA is a three-dimensional structure. You can find all kinds of really cool YouTube videos about, the, um, about DNA and uh, the properties of it, and I'm sure your lecture professor will be uh, speaking with you extensively about that. Um, so we can talk about how it can be extracted from nearly any cell. Uh, we will recognize DNA as the source of variation, so everything is different uh, because it has different DNA, uh, but some things are more the same because they have similar DNA than things that are long distant uh, ancestors because they have uh, different A's and T's and G's and C's, and DNA is the common link between all living things. So um, our buddies James Watson and Francis Crick were the first uh, two, uh, I believe, physicists, uh, scientists to discover DNA in 1953. And DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. And you can see uh, before there were ever microscopes that were strong enough to actually look at DNA, they figured out the chemical composition of DNA and um, how those molecules would have fit together to make this 3D structure that is called the double helix. Basically, it's a uh, ladder uh, with the rungs in it and it's attached together and because uh, of the way that the uh, A's and T's and G's and C's fit together. That makes the ladder shift, so it's this double helix. Hopefully you enjoy my hand motions. Maybe I have to edit that out. Uh, parts of the DNA molecule, the sugar and the phosphorus are what makes up the sides of the ladder. Um, they are the backbone molecules. They fit together in little units. And then the nitrogenous bases are the A's and T's and G's and C's and they make up the steps of the ladder and they fit together and whatever sequence they're in is what determines what your genes are. Uh, so here we can see that double helix, the twisting ladder, and uh, deoxyribose, that's the name of the sugar in DNA. So deoxyribose is the sugar and the nitrogenous bases are the A's and T's and G's and C's and the way that they fit together. So I think if you look up at the top picture of the DNA, that one's the best because um, in the other two you can't really see that A's and T's and G's and C's are separate. But in the top one you can see pink always goes with purple, uh, yellow always goes with green, so A always goes with T and G always goes with C. Those are the fundamentals of DNA. You always know that. A goes with T, G goes with C. And the helpful little hint that I use to always remember that is Austin, Texas is a great city. A goes with T, Austin, Texas, uh, and G goes with C is a great city. Austin, Texas is a great city. And since I am uh, from Texas, I love it. So what I just said, A goes with T, G goes with C. So um, thinking about the way that your DNA comes together, uh, information is stored in those A's and T's and G's and C's um, which make up your genes. And your genes are each going to code for uh, the recipe for certain types of proteins. And as your uh, body is going about making those proteins, uh, your proteins either act by themselves or they are going to um, act together and perform cellular functions. So they're going to build up the structures of your body or they're going to make them function the way that they're supposed to. So anatomy, which is the way your body is built, and physiology, which is the way that your body acts, the way the things that your body does. So um, it's often helpful to think of this from either biggest to smallest or smallest to biggest. So let's start, start out with uh, biggest to smallest. So first we look at the human body. 
And the human body has all kinds of organ systems within it. It's got your nervous system, it's got your endocrine system, it's got your, uh, your gastric system, it's got your muscular system, it's got all kinds of uh, systems, and, um, and that's going to make your body able to function. Each one of those organ systems are made up of specific organs. So your stomach or your intestines or your pancreas. So let's look at the stomach. Um, your stomach is made up of specific tissues. So the tissues in your stomach are different than the tissues in your liver, are different than the uh, tissues in your brain. Um, and those tissues are each made up of specific cells. And so um, cells are different all around your, all around your body. Um, inside of the cell there's the nucleus and the nucleus has the chromosomes in it and chromosomes are made up of, uh, of genes and um, they are wound around something called histones and uh, what's round, wound around those histones is, um, is DNA and DNA when you break it down is made up of, uh, of molecules so we go from body to organ system, to organ, to tissue, to cell, to chromosomes, to genes, to DNA, to molecules. So molecules are the smallest, make up the DNA. DNA is a little bit bigger, makes up the uh, makes up the proteins. Proteins are a little uh, are makes up the chromosomes. Chromosomes build proteins, which make up your cells. Cells build up the different types of tissues. Tissues build up the organs. Organs make up organ systems, and organ systems make up you. So it's really ama amazing to go from this huge human working body to all of these little complex parts. It's fascinating the way that that all works together. So in order to understand who you are, uh, we often look at your chromosomes. So if you were to look at one set of chromosomes inside of any of your cells, um, you have uh, 23 pairs of chromosomes. You've got 22 autosomes, which are the uh, chromosomes that make up your body. So you can see uh, the first, we, we put them in order from biggest to smallest. So uh, chromosome pair one, uh, one of those chromosomes came from your mother, one came from your father, and um, they are the biggest chromosomes. Chromosome set number two, one came from your mother, one came from your father. They're a little smaller than chromosome set one. Then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So from biggest set of chromosomes down to smallest set of chromosomes. And then we get to uh, set 23, which are your sex chromosomes. So we've got your um, XX if you're a female and XY if you're a male. So um, one of those X's came from your mother because she's got two X's and that Y came from your father uh, if you're a boy. If you are a girl, that the other X came from your father. So um, very interesting to see the roadmap of your chromosomes.